we are going to uh, solve a few quantum mechanics problems and starting with one of the easiest problem and uh, which uh, gives you one of the uh, foremost concept based on uh, which some numerical problems many numerical problems uh, used to come in the exam in many competitive exams also so we'll look one such problem so what is the problem let us look into the problem a microscopic particle which is represented by the following wave function now you can see it is not particle in a box kind of thing it is only a sin n pi x by l it has other parts also you can see in between this range 0 to a it has a functional form a x by uh, small a and in between the range a to b it has a functional form a b minus x by b minus a and otherwise it will be zero on both sides if you want you can pic pictureize this so you have a line in between the line you can think about from zero to a one interval and then you can think a to b and rest of the things always they were functions as zero what is the problem we have to compute the normalization constant that is capital a and by the way i have written capital psi which is a function of both x and t and it is given this argument has been given zero that means that for time t equal to zero uh, we have been uh, given this wave function okay so let us compute so what is the primary concept we know the primary concept we know for the normalization constant is that if i have the wave function so the probability density will be the sum of all probabilities will be equal to one as you have uh, learned in your discrete probability or also in the same case in the quantum mechanics plus infinity to minus infinity if i integrate it it would be same as one this is same as what you have done in plus two level so sum of all probabilities p i i is equal to zero to infinity will be one the same thing it has been represented for the quantum mechanics case in a continuous fashion in this case minus infinity and plus infinity what it means for us so let us break up the integral so I'll break up the integral minus infinity to zero mod psi. See, I'm constantly writing the capital psi, so I am not writing the argument right now. So in squared uh, dx plus zero to a mod psi x squared dx plus a to b mod psi x squared dx plus b to infinity mod psi square dx and that is equal to what that is equal to one good now see the profile of the wave function you can see in between zero to b it has a profile otherwise it is zero so these two extreme left and extreme right i can take the highlighter i can take the highlighter so these terms and this term will not contribute anything. So I can directly put it to zero. This is going to zero and this is also going to zero. So I have to compute the rest of the thing. Okay. So in between the interval zero to a, the form will be the form will be uh, x square x by a. So it will be x square by a square dx zero to a plus again mod square will be there and b minus x whole square by minus a whole square it is between which range between a to b again dx that should be equal to one now you might think why i have taken uh, mod a instead of a square because in general the by the properties of the wave function it is a complex uh, so I don't want to take any chance after integration, whatever it will come or not. In this case, of course, it will come real. So we don't have to worry. But for the sake of completion and the completeness, uh, I have written it that mod a square. Good. So this is the arrow mark should be there. So from here, what I can take it? So mod square, I can take it out. Then 1 by a square will come out. So let me write it down. 1 by a square will be come out so x cube by 3 and this region will be calculated for the upper limit uh, upper limit a to lower limit 0 lower limit 0 plus this thing will come 
1 minus d by a whole square and the uh, integration is becoming d minus x whole cube by 3 but 1 minus sign will be there so you can put it in a bracket and this limit is becoming in between when you d to a the whole thing is equal to 1. Now this is an easy simple computation you can do it by yourself if you do it will come come a by 3 a by 3 plus d minus a by 3 equal to 1 and clearly from here you can see mod a square by 3 this would be 1 now you can understand there is no complex thing will come so you can easily drop from the next line mod square so it will be 3 by b and from here you can get anomalization constant will be root over uh, uh, will be root over 3 by b so this would be the answer for this question let me highlight the answer so you have figured out the normalization constant for this again you can clearly see what is the dimension of this normalization constant because you are quite accustomed uh, for this type of questions why i say what is the dimension this is the length dimension you can probably see because here x is has a length dimension that is why it has with the length dimension and similarly b is also the length dimension of course so it will be l to the power minus half in a one dimensional problem there are several problems it can be based on this kind of wave function we will see it slowly okay that's it for this problem.